and low people. It is waking sheeple. Today is March 24th, 8.30 a.m., and this is my personal journey, journal, walk with my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Jehovah or Yahweh HaMashiach, whatever you prefer to call him. There's other names in other languages, but they're all talking about the same God. So this morning at about four, I had a significant dream. And I say significant because it stayed with me and I could, can't, could not stop thinking about it, have not stopped thinking about it, and been praying and asking the Lord, what is his will? So I'm just going to put this out here. Uh, I was standing with the Pope. He was looking at his house and he was speaking about how his house of God needed to be rebuilt. I turn and look out this big gate and there's tons and tons of people and they're, they're screaming about food, they're hungry, they want shelter. And all the Pope can talk about is his new house, his new temple to God. And nothing I said phased him. And finally, at the very end, you know, I, I sat there and I told him, you got a lot of hungry people outside that gate. Why don't you take a look over there and help them? And he would have none of it. He then turned and said, free will. And that was the end of the dream. So this morning, I got up and I started praying about that immediately. And went and looked at the clouds. And I saw 71. And when I went and looked up 71, oh, I also saw this number here, which was the number one, I suppose. First letter of the Greek alphabet. But 71. To lead, to take with one, to lead by laying hold of, and this way to bring to the point of a destination. Of an animal to lead by a company into a place, to lead with oneself attached to oneself as an attendant, to conduct, bring, to lead away to a court of justice, magistrate, etc. To lead, guide, direct, lead through, conduct to something, to move and power forces and influences on the mind, to pass a day, keep or celebrate a feast, to go, to depart. To pass a day, keep or celebrate a feast. Because um, the next number was 777, and that's like fasting, I believe. Fasting without having eaten. So I think there's a feast coming, and he wants us to fast. It's the 14th day that ye have tarried and continued fasting, having taken nothing. And my stomach growls. Seven nine seven was to lighten of dazzling objects. For as lightning that lighteneth out of out of the one part under heaven shineth unto the other part under heaven, so shall the Son of Man be in his day. And it came to pass as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. That's Luke 17, 24 and Luke 24, 4. That's amazing. Um, I also got some other interesting numbers, and I'll just read them off real quick. If you guys want to look them up, I'm looking under the Greek Strong's um, King James Version of the Bible lexicon. So, numbers were 4375. That was the first one I got yesterday. I think it was represented by Philippians 4, 8. Um, talking about pleasing and Thinking on virtuous things. 343, to unveil or to uncover. Drawing back a veil. 759 was talking about spices and sweet-smelling perfumes and anointings. 375 was to send up a higher place to a, higher, to a person higher up in office or authority or power. 4285 to go before and lead. And it's kind of funny that 71 was like a match for that same number. But I've been seeing the sevens a lot. 
4134 to be filled up to the brim to be perfect 1882 to follow after like to follow after the Lord and I will close with saying I am addicted to God what are you addicted to praise the Lord in his most holy name